Shabbat Shalom, y'all. I hope that you're doing fantastic. If you're new, I'm not churchy or religious, but I do keep the Shabbat. If you don't know what that is, that's just the, the Sabbath. I do give all honor, praise, and glory to Jehovah Elohim on this channel. And uh, he prophesies here, and he is just worthy uh, to be exalted. And so, anyway, that's kind of who I am if you are brand spanking new. Uh, checking me out on this channel um if you stay welcome those of you who are returning welcome back happy birthday happy anniversary and all of that so today is the 7th of november and y'all be patient with me if you are new uh i wake up with my audience and it's i've been up for a long time today and it's like 358 <laughs> as i'm looking at the clock uh, a.m. as I am uh, recording this. I've actually had quite a bit of coffee, but uh, I haven't had my brain kicked in and in talking to anybody, so just be patient with me. But it, as uh, many of you all do know that uh, are returning, I like to wake up with you all. So anyway, today is a rest day for us to be in perfect peace with uh, Jehovah and just to, to acknowledge Him in all of our ways every day, uh, but to just relax and uh, to just be at rest on the inside. So um, let's go ahead and just get focused here. I just thank you so much for this day, Jehovah. And I bless you, and I bless all those who are of like mind uh, and are walking in peace all the days of their life and striving to find uh, your mercy and grace just as I am. And I thank you that you go before us, you prepare the way, you make every crooked place straight, you uh, definitely order our steps, and I just appreciate it very much. What do you want to say today to us? What's the message? And help my brain to kick in. <laughs> so, we have justice here. And uh, so the truth and clarity and balancing. And um, this is anything contractual as well. Dealing with marriages and possibly divorces. And children situations where contractual things and bills and all that kind of stuff. This is uh, making fair and just decisions and do what you know is right and stand up for your beliefs. And this, uh, normally the justice card is the 11th card of the deck, but this has an 8 there and the sun right now is in the 8th house. And uh, would also go to judgment, justice type energy as well. So Jehovah's bringing out justice. This would be the K in the Hebraic living language, which is to cuff. It's the cuff. And it looks like a hand. Uh, the pictograph, it looks like a little hand that um, has a meaning of the cuff of bending and curving and subduing something. You know, to cuff, to take something to gel. To seize it and uh, let us do that in truth. Uh, the energy of negativity and wicked stuff that tries to make its way in this realm, guys. And cast down the thoughts. That's air energy, right? Casting down thoughts and imaginations and stuff like that. And keeping ourselves balanced for uprightness sake. Uh, is what is coming out here for us. And so something could have been ongoing since the 8 is there. Um, secrets and things like that with the eight. All right. <laughs> so we have the tower and knowing something here and the pictograph of the eye is here. So if you are brand new, I use the Hebraic living language and correspond it with my readings. Okay. Cause it really is found here within the tarot and, uh, the, um, the Ein in the Hebrew is the pictograph of the eye and the tower. Uh, many times you will see the uh, tower card with the eye at the top of it. Um, so anyway, this is knowing something. Obviously, if somebody's had a disaster, because the tower could represent a disaster, or it's a paradigm shift of an aha moment and setting somebody free, even if you had a disaster. Uh, something's happened here that's caused the heavens to knock the tower down. And now we have 
fair and just decisions that need to be made because of this tower, because of what's known, because of um, the paradigm shift, because of the sexual situation for some of you all, because we know that the tower can go back to that. Um, there is an eyewitness to something here with uh, something legal that is also being shown here as well. You could work for the law. Um, don't know. Possibly so. What else do you want to bring out here today, Jehovah, for uh, the Shabbat for us to uh, meditate on? So air is out here thus far. Um, so we have temperance coming out here, and this is also the, go back that house. I also go back to the law as well. Uh, this is about being balanced. So is the justice card, and so obviously we need to keep an eye and know that we need to stay balanced today and make fair decisions within some things that have taken place in in past or what we're thinking about doing. Balance out the mind there and. Uh, this is um, the husband, right? This is protection energy. This is being tempered within the self and knowing that we must do that. Um, this pride and ego here, uh, and that's why the, the heavens knock something down. Obviously, some people are dealing with pride and ego situations and high minded. This, this is our higher mind. And um, we get knocked down when we get there, and everybody, everybody has done it. <laughs> None of us can say that we've never uh, felt a prideful moment. Uh, we all have, and we all have to be tempered, and, and we, we hold one another up within that truth, and it sets us free there. We got truth, truth, truth really is here, and balancing the truth is really huge coming out here. I want to see what this word is. We have uh, the K, the A, and an N out here. And we can stay balanced. We can uh, make these fair and just decisions in the phonics of what's coming out here. Um, we have the neck out here. And we're told to wrap mercy and truth around our neck is what King Solomon told us. Okay, if we don't, our crown comes off. The crown is right here in the head area of the tower. This is genius energy, and it's genius for us to walk in wisdom uh, there. So we have the neck here, and um, that's where, and we have a lot of air coming out here. And actually, the ninth house uh, can also, uh, all four of the elements can be found within that house, and so air is really huge out here. And the mind goes back to air energy as well. Um, to balance something out here. Nick Knack is here. Your name could be Nick that's coming out here. Um, let me see what these words are. The cuff with the noon, um, the K-N. Ken is also a name out here. Kane is also out here. Um, don't know how it's really pronounced in the Hebraic language, but it's the K and the N together. Um, it means to stand and it represents a root and to be sure here. Uh, it's the base that supports that which stands firm. And we've got the tower here. And Jehovah tells us that he, you know, is our strong tower. And so if we're allowing a, a truth to build that tower, then there's something sure there and firm within a situation is what it said. Firmness in a situation is here, is what it says. Since we have law out here, we do have the word um, firm itself. It could be Dylan, obviously. Maybe you are a lawyer. I don't know. Maybe you're having to get a lawyer because something that was built was not um, done in truth or something like that. We also have a gnat out here, G-N-A-T, an insect energy is being found here. And those are a, a nuisance, right? If something's bothering somebody and you're trying to make a decision here, we're being told overall energy and something's happening in secret for some people about a, a decision that needs to be made. And it's just been just like a nuisance to you with that gnat just flying around, right? Uh, it, the, the, you almost says to make a fair 
and just decision by truth. We got too much truth out here. People do know the truth because we have a knower here. And they perceive a knowledge of something that is seen. It is showing up here to balance out something in truth, to be firm. There's no other way to do it, people. There's just no other way to do it. Uh, and to stand firm within that, regardless what other people might think. The truth is the truth. There's a lot of people that's falling out of this tower here. Or that's setting up in these towers as well and seeing other things, other people falling out of it. But this tower still goes to knowing something and seeing something and truth setting somebody free because it literally comes straight from the heavens. So, um... Jehovah's bringing this word out here to stand and stand sure in truth and be rooted there. Otherwise, we get the gnat that's flying around and it's a big bug <laughs> and just really bugging. And somebody could be bugged or had been bugged with it, you know, uh, by the law. And somebody had been planted some type of a, uh, of a device as well. It's also what's coming through my spirit. Um, for somebody and somebody knows something here somebody knows the truth about something and now something's got to be bounced out about what's known that's what Yehovah's bringing out here so one of the words that's out here is um, the heel and the ankle is here well we get that just alone with this house uh, but the heel would also go to the foot, which would go to the 12th house, and which is connected to the 11th house. So, um, But the word itself is being found. The heel and the ankle is here. Um, stepping on something. Whatever that means. You know, we have scripture stating about your foot being taken, you know, the hangman goes back to prison type energy. We've got a lot of law out here. Um, one of the words out here is ain. It's spelled A-H-N and it means watch in the eye, which we get it alone also with the tower. It's, the, it's these two letters together making this word of affliction. But somebody's been watching something um, that has been afflicting to them. And there's something of importance here, though. Um, but the eyes that are looking on something here within this cloud as a covering that provides some type of a shade, there's some type of a depression. Yesterday, I seen the card a couple different times that come out and said somebody's depressed and to go help them. And somebody has been watching somebody's depressed and then some people just been sitting there, just watching it. As well, that's not just, that's not fair. That's not, that's not, that's what, that's pride. That's why we're seeing something come down here. Um, so there's affliction energy that's here. We do also know that the tower goes back to somebody being tried and scrutinized and just to see what their freaking character is as well. Uh, but Jehovah's watching over that for those who are also doing that. Jehovah's also doing that to them because uh, we reap what we sow. So the eye of Jehovah is on everyone and everything. And he's making a fair and just decision. And we see something coming down here with this tower to give an aha moment of something. So the cloud is here. And this goes back to internet stuff, okay? And so, and he says, I come with clouds and scripture to us. Um... And this goes back to the cloud is a watch to tell uh, the weather of something. There's business here being found. But there's a watching over a task that is a, has been a burden to have to watch. Yes, it is a freaking burden because there's been depression here um, within this habitation that's showing itself here. At the same time, there's also been a gentle, careful watching that's in this section as well. Because Jehovah's gentle and he's kind. There's also been a humility here. Yes, because pride and ego has to come down. It has to. The owl is here as well. And, you know, the owls and the Lenormand goes back to coupling up. And it also goes back to travel. We've got travel energies here as well. 
uh, showing up. These are the energies that Jehovah's bringing out, uh, apparently, for people to, to um, evaluate today. What we're watching, what we're seeing, how it's making us feel, and then balancing from that place and being just and fair within those decisions. Some people are literally dealing with legal matters, okay? Or you work for the law, and that is still legal matters. But more than anything... Uh, law is always in session with Jehovah. Always in session with Jehovah. We have a word here um, that's crush. The nook, the NK, is crush and spice. Well, we had the heel and the ankle as well. And um, But this goes back to seeds being crushed. It's also a treasure energy here. Well, we have treasure energy here with that house fortune but there's a, a crushing by beating or plagues that's interesting because yesterday I did a reading on one of my channels and uh, something happened that brought a plague and I drew, let Jehovah draw through my hands and uh, shuffled one of the decks and that plague came out and then drew from one of my homemade decks and that same card came out in another deck I didn't realize it was both there within two decks and it, anyway it came out in that reading he's bringing it out again well something has happened that's brought a plague uh, uh, some type of a destruction I also did another reading yesterday that stated that um, there was the uh, Queen of Wands and the King of uh, Pentacles there and uh, the Seven of Cups was there and there was a choice in the recent past that something had just taken place that had uh, was a consequence. And so we're, we're getting something legal here that has had some type of consequence uh, to it that has brought some type of uh, hardship here where a paradigm shift has had to come down or decisions have to be made or some kind of watching of something that's been hard and depressive and that here's a plague energy then coming out again. It also goes to a slaughter. That's huge. Something been beaten down. Well, it's the heavens beating something down. It's huge. It also is bringing out this word um, with two K's here. Uh, it's something sweet that smells sweet. And it's only when we are, you know, if, if, if you are somebody who's prideful and you always had to knock your crap down and everybody has been there some kind, sometime. And, and those people who learned their lesson, because this go back to teaching and learning. It's very karmic stuff out here. All of it is really karmic stuff. And you've learned that lesson. That becomes a sweet place for you. That crushing has become something sweet there. And you teach from that place so that others can be um, uh, brought up higher and have the root and being structured there uh, within that truth. But some people don't get it. They just keep getting it. And it's, it's, it's hard to watch. It really is hard. And it's hard to know. If you're on the other side of that and somebody is just oppressing you there because of their pride, that's hard and hurtful as well. That's why Jehovah's eyes comes before uh, uh, over that and not something down as well. And at the same time, it all works together and it becomes some type of a sweet... Um, Yoga's going to get some type of glory out of it in the end regardless. Whatever the destruction within it has been uh, forced... Uh, from it there's still something sweet because the true people that will make just decisions will rise and shine and be kind kind of energy and that's what truth does to us so the crushing it all works together there's also a word here um people are dealing with um um slaying something or killing something. There's death here. Well, we do know that the noon will go back to eternity. There's children here with the noon. We know all that. We have uh, all kinds of stuff with that. But we have the word slaughter. Okay, we do, Some people deal with manslaughter situations here and striking from, from hitting and crushing someone or something. Uh, if, even if that's just energetically, emotionally, physically, spiritual, it'll play out differently for any given person. Some people just feel like, my God, you've just slaughtered me. Uh, you know, and uh, it's just been really hard. And people need to make some decisions here. And uh, knowing that some people also have been paid off to go do some stuff. And that was really coming out yesterday. It was really, really huge coming out yesterday. So... 
This is the energy today that Jehovah brought out for us to look at, to balance, to stand up for the truth and stand in those beliefs. Stand in those beliefs. So we have the N, the A, and the K today. And uh, perceiving and knowing and balancing here. We have eternity issues, legal issues, contractual issues, things that are known, things that have been destructive, things that have become sweet in the process of something that wasn't so sweet in the beginning. Um, but overall energy is truth everywhere and it's setting us free. Let every word be established in two or three witnesses. I'll be back later uh, periodically today on the Shabbat as Jehovah leads me and um, give a, another reading or whatever he wants me to do on this channel. Until next time, y'all, stay in truth. Shalom.